Hello friends, welcome. In this session, let's look at one interesting example related to geometry and medians. We have been asked that if two medians of a triangle are equal, then prove it's an isosceles triangle. So, how to do that? For that, we have just taken a diagram, an isosceles triangle. So, we have ABC is an isosceles triangle. We have been given two medians are equal. So, I have drawn the medians there. You can see. Let me just put down whatever the information we have there. We have AB, BC, CA are sides of the triangle. We have drawn medians AX and BY which are given to be equal and we know that the point of concurrency of medians is nothing but equal to centroid. So, can I say centroid is at G, at point G. Okay, right. Now, what we have to prove? We have to prove that either AB equal to BC or AC is equal to BC. And what else? This is what is the information given to us? Okay. Let's again go through that. If two medians of a triangle are equal, then prove it is an isosceles triangle. So, we have taken the triangle ABC. We have taken two medians AX. Now, what's the definition of median? Median join line segment joining the vertex to the opposite side. It divides that into two equal parts. So, can I say BX is equal to XC? Okay. So, I will say BX is equal to XC. Okay. What is the other median? BY. BY divides AC into two equal parts again. So, can I say BY equal to can I say AY equal to YC? Because BY divides AC into two equal parts. I can say AY equal to YC. How we got this? Definition of midpoint. Definition of midpoint tells us that the line segment should be divided into two equal parts. Okay. Now where to start? What else we know? AX equal to BY. So, let me take it as equal to some value A. AX equal to BY equal to A. Now, this is important. We have to understand that G divides AX and BY in the ratio 2 is to 1. That means, I know AG is to GX is equal to 2 is to 1. Similarly, BG is to GY is equal to 2 is to 1. With that, what we can do? We can go ahead and find out the values of AG. AG is nothing but equal to 2 by 3 into A and GX equal to A by 3 and BG equal to again 2A by 3 and GY equal to A by 3. This is interesting because now we are able to find out some sides which are congruent. So, only the information we are missing is we need to have one angle somewhere there. Okay, now which triangles we are talking about now? We can see AG, GX, B, G, G, Y. So, where we have the triangles there? We have the triangles with A, G, Y and B, G, X. If you look at A, G, Y and B, G, X, we know that A, just now we have found that A, G is nothing but equal to A, G is nothing but equal to 2 by 3 into A and this part is A by 3. Similarly, I know this is 2 by 3 A, this is A. Now, can we go ahead and say A, G, Y and B, G, X are congruent to each other? 
yes you are right we can say that because vertically opposite angle will help us now you can see here we have this side equal to this side and we have this one equal to this one so you can see 2a by 3 a by 3 two triangles with those sides and also one equal angle so by congruency which congruency so let's go ahead and write that maybe i will just move it to right so that we don't miss the diagram there that's good okay let's write it down now how they are congruent we are considering triangles a g y comma triangles b g x these are the two triangles we are looking at now what i can say about them what i can say is a g is equal to b g g y is equal to g x by the way this is a by 3 g y equal to g x not only that we know that angle a g y is equal to angle b g x because vertically opposite angles or can i say vertical angles or vertically opposite angles whatever you want to say so a g equal to z b b g and g y equal to g x this is due to the property of centroid the centroid divides the medians in the ratio 2 is to 1 okay now we have proven that triangle agy is congruent to so by s a s triangle agy is congruent to triangle bgx now once we know that what else we can say there what else we can say we can say that by CPCT my next step will be to write there by CPCT BX should be let's look at the triangles BX should be equal to AY if BX equal to AY that gives me BC which is half of which is twice of BX or can I write one more step here which gives me 2BX equal to 2AY that is nothing but 2BX is nothing but BC which is equal to 2AY that is equal to AC so if BC equal to AC obviously you know that we are talking about the isosceles triangle so how we have proven this we have taken a triangle we have kept all the information we have drawn two medians we found the centroid and we have been given the medians are equal two medians are equal so now to solve this problem you can consider the triangles agy bgx or you can also consider the triangles those are the only two triangles which are which we see are congruent so what we can do now is we know we have taken the medians are equal so we have applied the property of centroid and we have seen that there are two congruent triangles with SAS so by CPCT BX equal to AY that tells me that BC equal to AC that's how we can solve this problem I'll catch you again with one more interesting example thanks for your time bye for now